Yo, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, League of Legends motherfuckers, Linkin Park fans, uh, Scientologists. <laughs> I'm excited. The League of Legends videos always go so crazy. They're always so, like, it blows my mind that this, this video series is like the intro to a video game. Like, I think, it, I think I'm just very, am I a product of being a United States citizen? Like, to me, the biggest video game is COD and Madden and Fortnite. Am I just a slave to the United States? That was not meant to be a slavery joke, but am I just a slave to the United States mentality? Because I'm sure League of Legends just goes crazy, right? Like in the in the Asians, the Asians go nuts for it. Uh, either way though, I'm excited because I like the League of, Le League of Legends videos and this is a very uh, important moment in Linkin Park's, uh, not career, but it's definitely gonna define what they sound like going forward uh, because there's a lot of, uh, like polarization when it comes to Linkin Park not changing their name, when it comes to them getting a female lead singer to replace Chester, when it comes to the female lead singer's potential problems with being Scientologist, hence the joke in case you didn't get it. She grew up in that world and, you know, the whole thing about mental health and Scientologists don't believe in that and Chester's passing the whole, you know what I mean. There's a lot riding on this. Let's see what we got. Join us live on stream, ladies and gentlemen. When Linkin Park drops, we will be doing it live. You're probably seeing this a couple of days after the recording of it live and it's also been on Patreon already. So if you wanna get these videos early access, consider joining over there. Patreon is now working again. Dropbox is now working again. So we're back. But other than that, heavy is the crown. In a land. That's what it sounds like, like, like a voice is gonna come in right here. Not Mr. Han. I am what I want you to want, what I want you to feel. One knock at the door and then we both know how the story ends You can't win if your white flag's out when the war begins so high, so Can't win if the white flag's out before the war begins <laughs> And this is what I'll say about, and I said at the last video too This is what I say about the fact that I think Linkin Park is gonna be okay Because obviously Chester vocals from the gods above And he's gonna be impossible to replace But a lot of Linkin Park's stylistic driven in terms of the way that it sounds is Mike and a lot of what shapes Linkin Park is his production style and then obviously Chester on top with his vocals and his lyrical style but I just feel like it just depends on how well she adapts to the new to this style in my opinion it's pouring in you laid on the floor again one knock at the door and then we both know how the story ends you can't win if your white flags out when the war begins aiming so high but swinging so low trying to catch fire but feeling so cold holding inside and hope it won't show I'm saying it's not but inside I know is she from Scotland? Because she killed it. I'm giving all myself all the shits. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! That one was a crazy bar. That was a bar. Cause she killed it? <laughs> Shit sounds gas, we're gonna rewind though. Bro, this music video is fire too! You know what I just realized? She's going so fucking crazy. Her voice is perfect, perfect for this. She is now part of Linkin Park. She didn't replace Chester. We're not trying to replace his legacy. She's not trying to fill the void. She's just trying to add what she can add so that way we can move forward as a group and as a fan base. Y'all think Chester would have wanted this? Yes is your answer. 
But what I was just thinking, what just hit me right now watching the music video, the motherfuckers that make this music video are probably the same ones that made the Dragon Ball Z Linkin Park edits back in like 2004. God, does this not have 2004 compilation of fight scenes from Dragon Ball Z over Linkin Park music? That's basically what this shit is. And it's fire every time. Number 10 to 1 Back then should have bit your tongue Cause there's no turning back This path once it's begun You're already on that list So you don't want what you can't resist Hey So I win the pin won't miss Watch it all falling apart like this This is what you asked for Oh yeah Her voice is so much texture, bro. That crown's hard. She held that bitch for a solid minute right there. That was like 12 bars of just holding that. Bro, if you don't like this, I, I think you're just being a hater. And, and if you don't like Linkin Park, understandable. But if you're a Linkin Park fan, this sounds just like Linkin Park, bro. And I'm again, I'm not saying that she her voice is better or even on par of, 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 of Chester's. You got me like stumbling over my words. That's how pissed off I am. But I think you're just being a hater. There's no way that you can sit there and tell me that this doesn't sound just like Linkin Park. And that her voice doesn't fit perfectly for the sound. I think that finding a female lead singer that can do this is the closest thing that we're going to get to Chester's voice because nobody has that vocal range of his. Nobody can scream like his, at least a dude. I'm going to count these bars. It's like six, two, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, four, one, two, three. Bro, a whole phrase just holding that shit? The phrase is eight bars in case you don't know. Eight four measure bars. This is what you asked for. This is fucking solid. I think I like this track more than the other one. Speechless, bro. That is Linkin Park right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's Linkin Park right there. Clap it up. That song was fire, bro. That song was fire. I like that song more than the uh, than the lead single. What was the lead single? Emptiness Machine? That was fire. Emptiness Machine is hard, but this one is a whole... Pfft. Bro, this is faint. This has Chester vibes. This is Linkin Park vibes. This has Meteora vibes. It has a little bit of Minutes to Midnight vibes. Uh, What's the song where he holds it like mad long as well? Chester does that in a song. Giving up? It might be giving up. Yup. Oh my god, bro. I hate that people didn't give uh Minutes to Midnight the fair the, the fair chance because they wanted Meteora and they got Minutes to Midnight. Minutes to Midnight is fucking gas. Anyway, uh yeah. This music video, crazy. That was a fire track. One to 10 on that one. I probably got to give that like a nine low key. Got to give that a nine low key. I'm so excited for what they're about to sound like. I, I, I'm excited for this chick being in the group. I hope y'all feel the same because I think she's killing it so far.